It's like a big charcuterie board in a pie. <laughs> We're making Pizza Vienna, or also known as Pizza Rustica, or also known as Ham Pie, or Pizza Gain. Pizza Rustica is a really like flaky kind of fat filled dough that you're baking into a springform pan or into a sheet tray, whatever, and filling it with eggs and mozzarella and sausage and pepperoni and salami and ham and ricotta cheese and mozzarella. And you're gonna bake it and this is the most delicious thing. Italians usually eat it during Easter. It's, I think it's mainly like a Neapolitan dish, like from Naples. So like predominant in the south of Italy. The reason why it was made and eaten during Easter is that a lot of people gave up these ingredients for Lent, right? Like you're not eating meats or dairy during Lent. And so eating this is gonna help you break your Lent. It's gonna break your fast or whatever. There's three kinds of cheeses in it, four kinds of meat, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 eggs, this is insane. Into the dough, we're doing a little bit of flour. When I say a little bit, I mean like three cups. We're gonna do some salt, we're gonna do some pepper, and I'm also gonna do, you guessed it, lard. Why? Because this is called pizza gain. Mainly, it means pizza gain, you gain weight, okay? So, we're gonna use all of the fattest and most delicious things that you can find in the Italian deli. So I'm using actually like bacon fat, bacon grease. You can use lard, whatever you want. I mean, bacon's gonna be good. We're adding basically another flavor of meat to this. So anyways, that's what's happening there. My grandmother actually, Antoinette, God rest her soul, that Antonutty, that's what we called her. She is an insane woman. I love her, I miss her. She would make this for Easter for us. It was very different from this. And I think that a lot of Italians have a different variation. Like every household has their own kind of way of making this. My grandfather would take the ham hocks and he would just sit there and just, you know, shred the ham as finely as possible, like into like all these little shreds. Now you notice there are no ingredients here that look like that. I'm not giving you my family recipe, all right? This is a variation of my family recipe. It is not my grandmother's recipe whatsoever. This dough is gonna be really flaky. It's gonna be full. I mean, there's a lot of olive oil in here. It's very rich. Three eggs, the lard. I just added a little bit of water into this as well. We're just gonna mix this all up with our hands. Here, look at this. This is a sloppy ass dough. This is your daily intake of calories in one slice of this probably. This is basically done. It's like a very soft dough. As you can see, it's, this is for the crust. I'm not trying to like overwork it and like really push it together too much. Look at this. Like it's pretty, it's like dry also, but like really, it is oily. It's like oily and fatty. I'm going to wrap it up in some plastic wrap. I'll divide it. Oh, mamma mia. I love this recipe. It wasn't Easter without Grammy's hand pie. Our dough is chilling in the fridge. We are going to make the filling now. So sausage, delish. Snack and ham and ham. Pepperoni and salami. And then our cheeses, three kinds of cheeses. We have mozzarella, we have Parmesan, and the ricotta. Once again, snack and ham. Oh man, I missed. Oh, ew, I think it's in my hair. Anyways. <laughs> we're gonna heat up a little bit of olive oil and we're gonna cook our sausage, okay? gonna cook up the sausage back here until it's cooked all through. If you were like, you're like, I don't wanna use sausage, you could add more ham or more pepperoni. You could switch this up. And like I said, I feel like every Italian family has their own version of this. Go with what's in your heart. Go with what your family does. Here's Ernie and Aunt's. My grandparents. Aren't they the cutest? Oops. All right. Oh yeah, look at that. All right, the sausage is nice and crispy and cooked, looking beautiful. We're gonna put it in a bowl here and just let it cool down. Because we're adding so many eggs and cheeses and stuff into this filling. We don't wanna add our sausage in while it's hot because it's gonna just like cook the egg, it's gonna melt the cheese. Anyways, there might be a little bit extra here for snack and sausage too. While this cools, we're gonna get the rest of the stuff for our filling ready. Okay, so some people, they actually use hard boiled eggs in the mixture, um, which is great. I've done that as well, um, highly recommend it. But for this one, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna save one of these eggs because we're gonna brush the top of our pastry with the egg for a little egg wash action. 
Give these all a nice beat. We can season them with some salt and pepper. And we're gonna add in our ham, our mozzarella, snack and cheese, Parmesan, and our ricotta. This is like a pound of ricotta. I'm literally using the smallest bowl, so that's great. We got salami and pepperoni. Dice up the old pepperoni. Add that in. Oh my God. I might have to change bowls. We're gonna go big boy here. I tried. It was never gonna work. Next up is the so, uh, so much easier. Oh, look, I don't have to worry about it spilling or anything. Look at this, so much room to play with. All right, just dicing this up into little cubes, all about the same size, about quarter inch dices, bite sized little pieces. Whew, I'm working up a sweat in my sweatshirt. Mix her on up. What a beautiful thing. Okay, ooh, that slummy is spicy. Whew. You know what helps with the spice? Snack and cheese. We're gonna let the sausage cool a little bit. We're gonna add into the filling. The dough is in the fridge. We're gonna roll that out shortly and then we're gonna assemble everything. Okay, so we're gonna make this in a spring form pan. It's really great. We made the spaghetti pie in it, if you remember that. And we're gonna start rolling out our dough. Okay, so yesterday I was like, Spoiler alert, I decided that I was going to make a swap of this recipe because it takes a while to cook and it's, you know, whatever. I just wanted to have, I like to eat this cold. You can eat this hot or cold, but I wanted to have it cold for the video for you guys. So I was making it yesterday. And as I was like rolling it out and stuff, the lights were flashing. And all I could think was, is that Antoinette, my grandmother was cursing me because she's done it before. She's like that. She's crazy. As I'm saying this, I realize that I'm the one who sounds crazy since she's dead. But bear in mind that when we were children, my cousins, Anthony, Stephanie, my sister Amanda and I, we decided to put on like a play about Easter that was based on nothing and completely ridiculous. We were like doing this thing and, and we were all laughing and having a little bit too much fun about the resurrection of Christ. There was a thunderstorm while this was happening and we lost power. And my grandmother, who is quite religious, is just like, see, God is punishing you. Like she was so angry at us for doing this little play. And she thought that God was smiting us. Anyways, as I was making this yesterday and I realized, I was like, I'm not even doing Antoinette's recipe and my lights are flashing, the dough wasn't working. I was like, this is Antoinette's work. This is Antoinette's work 100%. So anyways, I just have to say that, Antoinette, I'm doing you a favor by not giving the world your recipe. You shouldn't be mean to me about this. Don't be angry, Grammy. Just be happy that I'm not giving away your secrets. There is no need to oil your pan for this because there is so much oil and fat in your dough. Now this is falling apart. Don't you forget it. This is 100% falling apart. It's fine, because what I'm gonna do is patch it up. Right on up. Whoops, I lost some dough. So now we're just gonna work on patching it because it is a mess right now. It's in the filling. Oh my God, listen to that. Put the filling in now, and then I'm gonna roll it at the top, put it in there, crust it up. Oh yeah, That'd be great. Spread it in a nice little even layer. I'm gonna put this aside. And now we're gonna roll out the bit that's gonna go on the top too. So also, I will just say this. I hate, hate, hate rolling out pie dough. I'm not good at it, as you can see. I dislike it. I think it's annoying. How many different ways can I say I don't like it and how, I, how annoying it is? I don't know, but that's, that's how I feel about it. All right, let's patch up that little hole there. This looks great. And by great, I mean fine. All right, so now she's in there. Now we're just gonna form it in here. It's gonna like crimp the sides, the edges all together. Okay, now we're just gonna crimp. So we're gonna do like the classic, like this. We're gonna pinch it and push it, okay? Just like that. Store-bought pie crusts are disgusting. If you're gonna make pie, like make your own pie crust for sure. I, know. I mean, there's something like very beautiful. I just don't have patience for pie crusts. Like I'm like, okay, we're done here. Look at it. 
We got a little hole, but it's all good. Nice and crimped. That doesn't look too bad. So I'm gonna get a tray. We set our oven to 350. We're gonna bake this bad boy. The egg wash is just egg and some milk or cream or whatever whisked together. You could also just use cream. You could also just use an egg on top. Doesn't matter. And we're gonna brush the whole top of this bad boy with this. Now I set my oven temperature to 350. So this is gonna bake for about you know, half an hour or so at 350. And then I'm gonna lower the temperature to 300 and let it keep cooking until it's done for I think like another hour or so. It's gonna get nice and golden on top and cook through and just be generally delicious. And then I'm gonna season it with salt and pepper. Into the oven it goes, 350, half an hour, lower the temp, down to 300, keep on going. It's gonna be good. Look at it. Like this looks beautiful actually. You're welcome, I did a good job. Even though I hate making pies, I think I did a very nice job. All right. There we go. And now we wait, 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 for that shit to cook. Well, guess what, guys? I wasn't lying when I said that I made this yesterday already. So don't worry, I'll get some pictures of it, some videos of it going in and out of the oven. But meanwhile, it's pepperoni time. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> All right, let's see where my knife is. Let's cut this bad boy, huh? <laughs> You guys ready? Oh man, you're in for a treat because this is quite a, a thing of beauty. Oh yeah. Oh my God, it's so cute. Mm. Oh man, this is so good. It's so rich and cheesy and eggy and like all of the meats inside of it. Oh man, I love it. Now if you were gonna do like hard boiled eggs in there, you'd see the hard boiled egg in there as well. You got the spicy pepperoni. I can taste that salami in the ham. The crust is delicious. It's like still really flaky and stuff. Mm. My grandmother would always fly down and bring this. Grammy, Antoinette, you live on in ham pie. That is for sure. And now forever in this video. So that's awesome. For the recipe, click the link below for not my grandmother's recipe and hashtag cook my cheese. Enjoy, thank you. Snack and cheese, snack and cheese. Oh, dang. Snack and cheese.